Unicorn lovers, rejoice! April 9th is, or was, depending when you're seeing this, National Unicorn Day in Scotland. So let's celebrate with a unicorn folktale. I'm sharing the maiden and the unicorn tonight on... Fucked up fairy tales with Liz! Ding! Long, long ago, when there was still magic in the world and things were not always what they seemed to be, lived a beautiful maiden. She resided in a castle in ruins because apparently, I am cottagecore as fuck. Her eyes were as black as Blackthorn in November, which frankly looks more blue to me. And her skin was as white as the blossom in March. Her castle wasn't always a slum. Her family had once been a powerful one, with swaths of land and riches and servants. But war and other misfortune ravaged the family, until all who was left was the maiden in her ruined castle. She spent the days wandering about the place in the faded remnants of her wardrobe, in bare feet. She had a few animals left over from her glory days. A cow, a couple of sheep, and a few hens. She had a single servant, a withered old crone. And she had one soldier to guard her, but the soldier was a unicorn. Now the unicorn was as fabulous as you can imagine a unicorn to be. He was white as snow with blue, blue eyes. Apparently he generally resembled more of a deer than a horse, but of course he had the single horn in the middle of his forehead. As time went on, the maiden and the unicorn became the stuff of local legend. Men in the land thought it would be great fun to hunt and kill the unicorn and then woo the maiden. And I gotta tell you, if you murdered my pet unicorn and then tried to woo me, all you get in return is a taste of your own artillery. So on behalf of the maiden, go fuck yourselves, menfolk. Luckily, the unicorn was a damn good guardian. Whenever some douchebag with a bow and arrow would round the corner and catch sight of he and the maiden, the unicorn would simply shake his magnificent head, and the hunter would freeze, unable to move or speak until the maiden and the unicorn were out of eyesight. Frankly, the unicorn is showing himself to be a much better mate than any of the men in town. He's protective, yet he's humane. Masculinity does not have to be toxic, my dudes. Naturally, when the menfolk would get home from their failed hunt, they would trash talk the maiden and her castle and the unicorn. The unicorn is made up, the castle is a real shithole, and the maiden makes her old crone look like a supermodel, am I right? Because that type of man has always been the same, whether it's the medieval times or whether he's on Tinder. He just has better technology now. One spring day, the maiden and the unicorn went exploring. They found themselves in a valley covered in brilliant yellow Scottish broom flowers. A grey stone farmhouse stood against the hillside. Unicorn, do you hear what I hear? Nope, but tell me more, my beauty. Tis the devastating cry of an oppressed people. Who are you, ye who cries out this sad song? Upon her cry, a little old elf surfaced from the wildflowers. Continued in part two. We are the little people, my lady. And we weep because we have been pushed out of our home by some racist bitch and her husband. Well, if you don't mind a drafty old castle with no roof, you're welcome to stay with us. That is, if the unicorn and the old crone don't mind. Sure, come on over. I have no issue with it, cutie patootie. You can live in the kitchen, elves, where it is warm. Oh, gracious maiden, you will not regret this day. The maiden and her friends showed the elf and his family a grand old time. In thanks, the elf and his brood fixed up the castle. And I don't mean they just cleaned it a little. They gave it a new roof. They repaired the windows and doors. They even restored all of the castle decor and furniture to their former glory. Now that we have gone above and beyond and rebuilt your entire estate, we would like to move out of the kitchen and into the West Tower. Well, we would be real assholes if we didn't let you do at least that. I should check in with the roommates, though. Your thoughts, friends? Oh, it's no question. Our home is your home. I've been cooking in one rusty cast iron pan for 50 years. And now Martha Stewart's kitchen can eat my farts. Live wherever you like, you little geniuses. For the first time in her life, the maiden slept in a proper bed that night. Oh yeah, they did all of that in 24 hours. The next day, the elves took care of the landscaping. 
And the next day they took care of the farm. The animals that she had multiplied into thousands. Truly, how can I thank you for everything you have done for me? You can thank us by finally taking a husband who will be the master of this castle. Oh, I mean, I could probably handle that part myself. But if it really means that much, I kind of feel obligated now. Finally, someone said it. We gotta get this woman laid. Yes, my beauty. You deserve one who will love you best the rest of your days. Well, how should I go about this? We've already determined that the local men are bloodthirsty garbage fires. I shall have the birds spread the news that you are on the market. Everyone who wants to rally for your hand shall show up for a single speed dating event on the 1st of May. Presumably, the birds skipped all the local losers who tried to murder the unicorn. And instead, they set out to all the princes in the neighboring kingdoms. She met four suitors that day. Your first meeting today is with the Prince of the Frozen North. And boy, is he a looker. Granted, I haven't looked on any man in four generations. A little birdie told me you're looking for a husband. Oh, that's cute. I am. Well, if you're interested in a fierce warrior, I am the man for you. Actually, the man need only answer one question correctly. If you were the master of this castle, would you make room for the little people to live here with us? The little people? You mean those elves we tried to wipe out long ago? Genocide is not the answer I was looking for. What the hell? But I am a fierce warrior! Get your ass out of here, King Snowflake. Next up is the Prince of the Warm South, and he is even tastier than the last one. A little birdie told me you're looking for a husband. Oh, yes. Get it? You see, it's funny because a bunch of birds told me you're looking to get married. Yeah. Thanks for explaining. So, you into guys who hunt? I got a bunch of cute animal heads on my wall at home. This isn't going well, but I will ask. If you were master of this castle, would you make room for the little people to live with us? You mean those tiny simpletons we conquered this land from? Please, leave. Make like a tree, buddy. All right, then how about the prince of the eastern seaboard? You like cheesecake? Cause I want to take a bite. A little bird told me you're looking for a husband. Come on, man. Ay ay ay. If you were master of this castle, would you allow the little people to live here with us? I'm pretty sure we drowned those heathens a long time ago. What the hell is wrong with you men? Hey now, not all men- Nope. Nope. I will gore you with this horn. Well, here comes your last hope, honey. But lucky for you, the prince of the Western Isles is the prince of this wet-ass puss- Okay, calm down, you. A little bird told me that you're looking to- Stop. Just stop. What are your thoughts on little people? Little people? Those things are real? Just get out. Well, what the hell should I do now? Look, we all know what you're gonna do, lady. Go with your gut. Hmm. Unicorn, if you were master of this house, would you allow room for the little people to live with us? Of course. They would be welcome here, always. Then I'll marry you. You have always protected me, kept me company. You are gentle and kind. And apparently the only decent fucking male in this kingdom. That's all I needed to hear, my lady. Before her eyes, the unicorn transformed into a handsome prince. Holy mama! This is it. If you don't take this sweet-ass man to bed, I swear to God, I'ma do it. My heart has always been yours, my beauty. Wow, this really all worked out, didn't it? Let the deflowering commence. The end. Happy National Unicorn Day to my Scottish followers and to us all. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz.